Hey everyone, Maya here from my storybook and welcome to today's interactive read aloud. Today I have a deliciously fun story for you featuring one of my favorite foods. If I take a look here on the cover, what kind of food do you see? It looks like a type of soup, right? Well, this story is all about dumplings. In fact, the title of today's interactive read is called Little Dumplings. Dumplings, my friends, have you ever had dumplings before? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Well, if you've never had dumplings before, dumplings come in all different kinds, but a dumpling is when you have like a dough and you fill it, it has a stuffing on the inside. So it's this dough that has this filling. Usually they're made in like little small, little bundles and you can eat them in soups, in pastas, you can dip them in soy sauce or other sauces. We are going to be learning and reading about all these different dumplings in today's interactive read aloud. I think that this is the perfect book to have a snack pairing with. So if you want to go grab a snack, if you have dumplings around, that would be excellent. But if not, a fun snack would be a great one for this story because you are going to be definitely hungry. This is going to get your taste buds going and your tummy rumbling. All right, my friends. Well, I think we're ready to get started, so let's go ahead and check it out. The title of today's interactive read aloud is Little Dumplings, written by Susan Richbrook and illustrated by Bonnie Payne. And this book, my friends, was published by Sunbird Kids, so huge thank you to them for letting us read it together today. The publisher is the one who makes the book, puts it all together, and creates it and shares it for all of us to read. Now, we already took a quick look at the cover, but let's take another look again. And what else do you notice going on in this soup of dumplings? I do, right? I notice all the dumplings have faces, like they're the characters in our story. Oh, this one maybe is the main character dumpling. What else do you notice in this soup? I noticed some other vegetables, right? Like some carrots, maybe this is celery, ooh, some greens, maybe like parsley, maybe another green herb. Hmm, it looks like it's on a tablecloth. Someone is scooping up this little dumpling with a spoon. Oh, soup is quite delicious. Dumpling soup, hmm, even better. All right, well, I wonder what this little dumpling is going to be up to. Hmm, what do you think? What do you think? What kind of adventures might a dumpling get up to? <laughs> Well, let's find out. Well, here is the title page. It has the title of our book, Little Dumplings, our author and illustrator, and our publisher, Sunbird Books. And if I look over here, my friends, it actually gives us like a little sneak peek of some of the other dumplings we'll see in the story. It tells us how to pronounce their names. If you want to take a quick look, we're going to meet all of these fun characters. Oh, over here, here are some more of them. Do you see the one from the cover? Right, the one from the cover is this little round one. Oh. Over here, a canadal. Hmm. Some other different shapes. Look at dumplings come in all different sorts of shapes, huh? All right, let's begin. Splish, splash, splash. Oh, my friends, can you try to make that sound? Ready? Splish, splash, splash. The little dumpling happily paddled through the salty broth, the soup, over the onions, around the carrots, and through the leafy dill. Stop making waves, her sister complained. Oh. This little dumplings making waves in the soup going past the carrots and other vegetables. The little dumpling smiled and listened to the sound of the dumpling chef patting the dough. Pat, pat, pat. My friends, can you take your hands just like this chef right here and kind of squish them together and go pat, pat, pat. You try. Roll a dumpling. Take your two hands and pat. Oh, nice. That's how you would make this type of dumpling, rolling it and patting it into a ball. Hmm. But uh-oh, what's going on here? Oh, pat, pat, poo, splat. Oh, no, looks like maybe dogs startled the dumpling chef and oh, she let go of the dumpling. Oh, where is our dumpling friend going? Uh-oh, out of the pot. Whoa, says the dumpling. It looks like she's tumbling away. My friends, can you say that? Whoa. Oh, dear. How do you think she feels? <coughs> Probably a little bit frightened to be away from her home pot, right? The little dumpling tumbled and twisted head over heels. 
far, far away from the big pot of salty broth that she called home. It might have been fun if it weren't so frightening. So it could have been fun, but it was really scary. And oh dear, what does that dog want? Dog's trying to chase after her. Mm. When she finally rolled to a stop, the little dumpling stood up and looked around. And what do you notice about where she is? Looks like there's a lot of tents set up, maybe like a festival or something. Where in the world? Oh, okay. She sees this line. She was at something called a dumpling fest. So fest is short for festival, a whole festival celebration for dumplings. All she needed to do was to find her tent out of the dozens and dozens of tents. Is that going to be easy to find hers? No, because there are so many. Oh, and she needed to get away from that dog. At the edge of the tent, the little dumpling spotted a familiar shape. Oh, excuse me, she called. Could you help me? Oh, but then she sees him and says, Oh, are you all right? Oh, the creature was round like a dumpling, but he had a big dent in the middle of his head. Oh, what is wrong with his head? <laughs> Uh, I'm fine, thanks, he said. Hello, I'm Chocho Yode. Hi, I'm Little Dumpling, she says. Chocho Yode laughed. We're all Little Dumplings here. So she's like, oh my goodness, something looks wrong with his head, but he's just a different kind of dumpling, right? He looks a little different. He's a Chocho Yode dumpling. My friends, can you say Chocho Yode? Chocho Yode is this kind of dumpling. You seem lost, Chocho Yode said, but I think I know where you might be from. He led the little dumpling to the tent next door and said, meet my friend, Fufu. So here's another dumpling. What shape is this dumpling? It's a circle like the little dumpling here, but how are they different? Because they don't look exactly the same. This one, Fufu, is a bit bigger, right? And... Whiter, lighter, not as yellow as this one. Mm. Fufu was round like the little dumpling, but she was lighter in color, a bit bigger and less bumpy. Oh, so she's really smooth. See how little dumpling has these little bumps? I wonder what kind of dumpling Fufu is. <gasps> Someone's coming, said Fufu. Quick, dive into the stew. Whoosh. And look, I see more of these dumplings in the back. So this must be where this dumpling uh, lives. This is her home pot. Remember, our other little dumpling had a soup bowl that she lived in. This one lives in stew. Hmm. Well, this wasn't a salty broth. It was warm, but it was thick and chunky. And the little dumpling had never felt or smelled anything like it. When no one was looking, she took a tiny taste. <gasps> it was different, but it was delicious. I want to try this stew, my friends. What else do you notice in this stew? Maybe these maybe could be carrots or maybe tomatoes, some peas. Ooh. Thanks for hiding me, the little dumpling said to Fufu, but I'd better head home. Along the rows of tents, she also met Momo, who also called herself a dumpling. She had a filling on the inside and she was pinched closed in a pretty pattern. Oh, so look at this dumpling has something on the inside here. But then at the top, it's pinched to make those little curvies at the top. Have you ever seen a dumpling like this? Mm. And she met Montu, who was filled and pinched and covered in sauce. Ooh, so they were folded, pinched, and covered in this kind of sauce. What do you notice in this sauce? Yeah, it's also got some herbs here, some green herbs. She met gyoza, who was filled and folded and fried in a pan. So this one doesn't have sauce, right? It's just fried in a pan. And look at this shape. How is this shape different from this one? Right, the little dumplings round. This one's got almost like a boat shape, right? And it's got curly edges on the top. And this one, instead of being in a sauce, looks like you dip into this kind of sauce, maybe soy sauce. And she met shumai, who was open at the top. Oh, this one's open. I like the breeze, says Shuma, feeling the breeze on the insides. Padded, pinched, filled, folded, poached, pan fried, steamed, and sauced. The little dumpling had no idea there were so many different ways to be a dumpling. All those different ways to cook dumplings. Patting them. My friends can practice patting. Pinching. Oh, take your hands, pinch. Filling. So fill it up. 
fold it, fold the dumpling, poach the dumpling, that means cook it in water. We can pan fry it, get your pans out like the gyoza, let the steam cook it, or sauce, pour sauce all over it. Ooh, what sounds good to you, my friends? Do you like sauce, poached, fried, with patting or pinching? What do you think you like? Ooh. And look at this dumpling. What shape is this one? Almost like a square with squiggly edges, right? Hello, I'm ravioli, said the rectangular dumpling at the next tent. Oh, it's a rectangle shape. These are my cousins, tortellini and gnocchi. Hmm? Tortellini and gnocchi, two other types of dumplings. Dogs, shouted gnocchi, diving into a white sauce. Ravioli jumped into a red sauce, and Tortellini belly flopped into a broth, and the little dumpling followed her. Ooh, nice backstroke, says Tortellini. So backstroke, swimming around in the soup broth. This soup almost looks a little bit like little dumpling soup, right? So if I look at these, these types of dumplings are actually types of pastas, too. They're going in different pasta sauce, red sauce, white sauce. Sometimes you put pastas in soup. And what is going on here? It looks like they made a pyramid all standing on each other's shoulders. And this one, oh, what did this one do? Kicks this vegetable, maybe this radish. What is he trying to do? Distract the dog, right? Make the dog chase something else. They're like, oh, what a good idea. I see these flags down here are Italy flags, which means these pastas, these ravioli, tortellini, gnocchis are Italian dumplings. It was fun to swim and chat with the cousins, and the broth felt warm and good, but the little dumpling still missed her home. How long do you think that dog will hang around, she asked. I have an idea, said Ravioli. We'll form a pyramid, climb up to the shelf, and distract him with a turnip. So that's a turnip. Get ready to run. So, when the dog is chasing the turnip, oh, did you see that little friend down here? Ah, there she goes. Do you think she's going to make it? The little dumpling ran far and fast and right into... Boop. Pierogi! Oh, whoops, said the crescent-shaped dumpling. Crescent's like a moon shape. Who is sour cream topped? Oh, sour cream on top. Slow down and smell the dill, he said. Dill is like this herb here. Did you say dill? Asked the little dumpling. She took a deep breath. Take a deep breath, my friends. And what is she smelling? The... Dill. Mmm, I think she might like that smell. Does it look like she likes it? Looks like a good smell, right? <gasps> Pierogi, this one? What what dumpling does this remind you of? They kind of have the same shape. Do you remember? Like a gyoza, right? Except maybe not as curly at the top. She took a deep breath and <gasps> she smelled the familiar scent. <gasps> what does she smell? I <coughs> think this is the ingredients to her own soup that she's from. Remember the carrots, the celery, with some onions, some green herbs. And not only that, she smelled onions, carrots, celery. I'm home, she says. Oh, there it is. Mama's homemade canadals. Oh, she's a canadal dumpling. And there is the dumpling chef. Oh, my. There she is back with her family. You need a bath, her sister said. Is that sauce on you? Oh, my goodness, these dumplings don't go in sauce. They go in soup. The little dumpling smiled. It was good to be home. But as she paddled through the salty broth, she wondered what her new friends were doing. And she wondered if there were even more new friends to meet. She's wondering, are there other types of foods and dumplings out there? Hmm. What do you think she's going to do? She's wondering these big things. Let's see. Oh, what do you notice? What's going on? Does it look like she's leaving? So she hugged her family. Oh, dumpling hugs. And went off to find out. To find out if there are other dumplings and foods out there. And she is on this truck that says Fusion Food. And fusion means when you mix different things together. So fusion food is mixing different kinds together to make new foods, which is perfect for our little dumpling because she's curious about meeting some new friends. She is off to go see some other foods out in the world. What kind of foods do you think she's going to meet? Wow, I hope she meets those foods. That would be so fun. And uh, who's over here? 
<laughs> the dog and his best friend group. The end, my friends. And look at these fun pages at the end. It has all of our different friends over here. The different types of dumplings. Fufu, chochoyotes from Mexico. Fufu is from Ghana. Shumai is a dumpling from China. Montu is a dumpling from Afghanistan. Gyoza is from Japan. Oh, Noki. Italy, Momo is from Nepal, Tortellini is also from Italy, Pierogi is from Poland. All these different dumplings are different types of dumplings from different places in the world. Different people over the world eat different types of dumplings. So same type of thing, flour with a filling inside, but there are different ways to eat it. Yum. The end. Wow, my friends, what a sweet food adventure, right? Did it make you a little hungry? It makes me hungry for some dumplings and it would be so cool to get to try all these different dumplings from all these different countries in the world. There are so many different ways to make dumplings and it's cool to be able to connect over this one food, right? We all eat dumplings, but we all can eat them in our own different way and different style. All right, my friends, what was one of your favorite parts about this story? Yes, right? I loved when she got to meet all the different dumplings and it was fun when she dived into the soup and I thought it was really cool when they made that pyramid and then tricked the dog into getting the turnip. That was super fun. Okay, friends. Well, I hope you enjoyed this fun dumpling story. Thank you again to Sunbird Kids for sharing it with us. And something super fun to do again would be to go out and try some dumplings or be adventurous and try some new foods that you've never tried before, right? Because it's always fun to try new things. Just like little dumplings saw and had so much fun meeting these new friends and trying something new. So go for it, my friends. Go out and try a new food. And I would love to hear all about your new food adventure. If you'd like to share it with me, go ahead and you can reach out to me on my storybook on Instagram, here on YouTube, on the blog, email, all the social media links can be found down below. Otherwise, my friends, if you did enjoy this interactive read aloud, please be sure to subscribe to my storybook YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button and giving this video a thumbs up. All right, I had so much fun reading together with you today, but that is the end for our interactive reading adventure. So until next time, my friends, Happy reading!